kids know how well off they are today. Listen as Sam lights matches under those hot legs. Is that the Edwin show? I wish I were on it. But uh, couldn't be. I'm brooding. I'm still brooding about that business of reading a dog's horoscope. If you're one of those poor, forgotten little people who never heard this delightful program before, you probably have forgotten that last night we came across a guy who reads dog horoscopes for a dollar. Uh, apparently a legitimate type guy. Oh, I figure out that a lot of silly people will go for that nonsense. So I'm setting myself up in a small business of my own. I'll read your dog's paws for 50 cents. I'll tell him stuff like his head rules his heart and so forth. Tell him that I can see his lifeline ends right in front of an automobile. I'll give him a character analysis, too, if he has any. And if I discover that dogs can be psychoanalyzed, I've got a wonderful idea for a new Broadway show. If he can be psychoanalyzed, we'll call it Doggy in the Dark. That's just quite a sensational joke in there. If uh, I took time out. This isn't far-fetched, though. People bury dogs in swanky cemeteries, and they build them stones and monuments. Dogs are taught how to count and spell. And people say they have souls. You send your dog to me, I'll finish his education. I'll get him religion. Then those dogs who eat three kinds of red heart dog food so they won't become bored will look forward to Friday. People send their dogs to the store. Why not teach them to play poker with you? Then I know people who claim that dogs talk to each other in dog talk. I hear it on children's programs. They talk about dogs talking. Well, does a French poodle speak French dog talk? Does, a, does an Irish terrier have a brogue? I'm just asking. I'm not raising an issue. I've seen dogs in vaudeville that can tumble and balance themselves in one paw. So if I've got a new act, I'm teaching my dog to ice skate. I have another one that does card tricks. Oh, shut up. Sam, will you stop that clowning? What happened? mislead you. That ain't Castellana. Go on with it. I suppose that ain't what this is. <laughs> is that all? Are you through? Okay. This brings us to our cereal. I'm glad you're finished, Sam, because now I can present my new cereal, which we're just reviving because now I can sing the theme song for it. I haven't written the theme song, but it goes something like, A life is thrilling, a life divine. Ah, that goes something like that. His new serial is entitled, Violet Ray, the true-to-life story of a woman's fight to be allowed to meddle in other people's business so that the story can go on forever. What a serial this is, folks. Why, in the first two weeks alone, there are three marriages, two divorces, one baby, a murder, a courtroom trial... A crooked doctor, that's crooked in there, a crooked doctor, a scheming lawyer, two funny detectives, a rich uncle, and through it all, one woman's fight to be allowed to meddle in other people's business so that the story can go on forever. This brand new series is sponsored by the makers of Three Bell Cigarettes, the cigarette that is 30% wider so you can get a grip on it. Now, originally, we made these Three Bell Cigarettes 20% longer so that the smoke would travel further and be cooler. But we found that as soon as you'd smoked off that extra length, everything was just as hot as before. So now we present Three Bell, the 30% wider cigarette. 
Of course, there's no more tobacco in these cigarettes, but we just made them flatter. But they fill up more of your mouth, longitudinally. We have special matches to go with them. The matches light lengthwise. Three Bell cigarettes are the result of having nine architects work for four months to perfect their ultra-modern design. On land, in the air, and on the sea, you will find people, airplanes, and fish, respectively. And now, Violet Ray, the soul-searing drama of one woman against everything. Her chief trouble being that she's always a bride and never a bridesmaid. She's been married seven times. And she's worth $84. That's what's left from her first husband's insurance, which took care of her and the next five husbands for a while. Her present spouse is in Chicago, Illinois. He's writing radio serials. He lives in a room that's been cork-lined and keg-lined to retain his natural corn flavor. As our scene opens today, the curtain catches on something after going up only a foot, and we can only see the actor's feet. The brown shoes turn left and say something to the high-heeled pumps. Can't hear any of the dialogue at all. Tune in tomorrow. Maybe we fix curtain. Tune in right now and hear transcription. (laughs) Sam, look, I don't mind when you torture listeners, but include me out. Can you play something else? That's what radio needs, boy. I'm surprised. They can't keep tra- they can't keep track of their own lyrics. We're not just going to put up with it anymore. Did uh did you know that I'm a big shot around town now? Oh yes, this Morgan's important here in the city. Last night Tommy Dorsey opened at the Astor Roof and I was there. Oh yes, I saw Fred Waring and Victor Mature and Nick Kenny and well, they, since they don't see me, it was sort of a little lonesome. And you know, by special, I know Dorsey, though, by special request of my girl, Dorsey opened his radio program with, I'm getting sentimental over you. Made me look like big time. Made my girl feel awfully good. And my boss was there, too. He bought us lemonades, and we had our picture taken in some kind of a group photo. It'll be in the Wenatchee Home News next Friday. We saw Citizen Kane last night, too. His moving picture. Fine picture. Has five kinds of Orson Welles in it. Strawberry, chocolate, lemon, Don Wilson. Uh, They say it has something to do with Hearst, but I don't think so. I think it's about Orson. Orson as a child, Orson as a young man, Orson running for governor, Orson making speeches, Orson in love with himself, directed by Orson, produced by Orson, written by Orson, and another guy. The only thing he couldn't figure out was how to be in the picture and do the photography, too, so they had Greg Tolan do it. Getting on the level, though, the biggest kick I got out of the whole thing was thinking how silly Hollywood must feel. Does Hollywood take this show, Sam? I'll soft pedal the rest of it. But no kidding, they must feel awful. After the terrific razzing they gave that guy, they must feel the way I do when I get my paycheck. And that sudden bump in the head. And it so happens, wise guy, it's a great picture. You know, I never said that before about anything. Even my father liked it, and he hasn't liked the picture since the great train robbery. By the way, my father sells insurance. Anybody care? Sells a very good brand of insurance. It'll last you a lifetime. That's your lifetime, if you want me to explain these things. This brings me to the time 
when I got good and tired of doing radio programs for little money and for people who didn't care about anything but Fred Allen. So the next scene is the one in which I lock the door and turn on all the gas jets while Sam turns the theme on. <laughs> These nights he's going to turn that theme on, on cue, and I quit radio forever. Morgan will be on the same corner in front of the cigar store tomorrow night at the same time. The weather forecast, scotch mist, followed by a representative of Rogers, Pete, and company. I'll have to explain that. They, uh, Rogers, Pete has a fabric they call scotch mist, out of which they make overcoats for men. Well, what about it? Well, nothing about it, but I made a weather for it. Well, well so what? Is it, but, well, no, I don't, well, it don't bother me. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. KGB, San Diego's Don Lee Station. Marvelous? Of course, Chrysler Fluid Drives and Vacomatic Transmission are marvelous. They have switched owners to Chrysler at the fastest rate in history. Fluid drive must be important, must re be tremendously appealing to influence sales so much. Find out for yourself. See Mark Hanna. Drive a Chrysler today. Mark Hanna, Chrysler and Plymouth Distributor, India at Sea.